Good morning, everybody. I'm Broward County Commissioner Stacy Ritter. Happy New Year. This is our first coffee of 2012. We're here at the Tamarack Cafe and Diner in Tamarack. And we're delighted to be starting a whole new group of YouTube videos on what's going on in Broward County. Uh, if you want to contact me, you are free to do so at uh, my office number is 954 357 7003. We're very casual here. <laughs> um, and my email address is srutter at broward.org. You can also follow me on Facebook and Twitter, where my Twitter name is at Stacy Ritter. Okay, so that's all the housekeeping stuff. Is that right? Is that all the housekeeping stuff? Anyway, I am really thrilled today to have one of our three constitutional officers in Broward County joining me this morning. This is Lori Parrish, who is our county, Broward County property appraiser. And Lori and I have known each other for a very long time. <laughs> I was a baby. You were a very young baby, and I was not. <laughs> no, but well, we were both young. You were, we were rollerblading the campaign. I don't do that anymore. Freight, freight bones now. Freight, freight of broken bones. And we're going to have a conversation. Um, we're going to talk in the first segment about the Broward County Property Appraiser's Office and what Lori does and what she does so well. And then in the next couple segments after that, we're going to talk about Broward County and where Broward County's come since Lori first got elected. Or actually, were you born here? No, I moved here on Easter Sunday before I was eight years old, and I'll be 64 in July, so it seems like I was born here, but I came here when I was in elementary. My dad was the engineer that designed the natural gas pipeline that brought natural gas oh, from wow. Texas to Port Everglades, and that's how we moved here. So we're going to talk about where Broward was and where it's how far it's come if you think it was progress and how far it's not come if you don't think it was. But we're going to talk about um, the Broward County Property Appraisers Office first and what Lori does. So first tell everybody when you got elected to the Broward County Property Appraisers Office. I became the property appraiser thanks to all of you. Um, and I was elected in November of 2004 and became the property appraiser on the first Tuesday of January of 2005. And prior to that? A part, a night, my first office was I was elected in 1984 to the school board, and I stayed one term till 88. In 1988, I became a county commissioner, and I stayed 16 years, um, and then um, left there in 2004 and became the property appraiser. So what, I don't think a lot of people know what the property appraiser's office does. I know that I get a lot of questions about, actually, you send me stuff where people um, have questions about tax collection. What's, what does the property appraiser's office do? The property appraiser, we assess every piece of property in Broward County, whether Tamarack Cafe and Diner that we're in right now, your home, my home, Norma's home, all the properties, commercial, residential, condos, townhouses, single family homes, hotels, motels, vacant land. We create an assessment on that piece of property. So, and the reason we do that is so that all the taxing authorities, like the Broward County Commission, the school board, the city you live in, the hospital district, the children's services board, and the like, they prepare their budgets. So they see what the taxable assessed value is of Broward County, how much money they need, and that way they can create a millage rate. Um, some taxable entities in Broward County, there's a 10 mil cap. They're almost at the 10 mils. Really? The county commission has always been the most conservative. The, sc the school board has always levied. The no, they have. Oh, I know. I mean, <laughs> I'm not kidding. No, no, people don't think that that's true. But I know. I mean, it's, you know, the commission has been predominantly all Democrat, or a majority of Democrats for as long as I can remember, except in the 70s. Right. You know, when, it, <laughs> when the county was red. When Norman, everybody retired, we did better. <laughs> Uh, but the county has always taken a very conservative approach to its budget. And for just a little history, do you know who really was one of the most conservative people with taxes you were talking about? We talked about Scott Cowan. Well, I do want to talk about I mean, Scott Cowan. But, and the so we do that. And then, how many properties are there? there about like thousands of properties. Well, there. there are, if you count tangible personal property, because a tangible personal property like the Tamarack Diner, if they had equipment and furniture worth 25000 or more, everything over 25000 would be taxable for commercial personal property. And then the state Department of Revenue sets um, the fixed assets of railroads and things. They tell us, well, you will assess it at this much, and we say, you've got it wrong. You've left off this giant building in Dania, and everybody would like that on the tax roll, too, for the FEC. It's but. Um, so there are about 834,000, but actual physical properties, 
but well, even still, there's got to be hundreds of thousands of actual. Oh, right. Now, there's almost. Uh, how do you go out? Do you send people out to each? That must take. That must be so. Well, we con- do and, staff consuming. And we have. If you think we have, and we've had, you know, as you know, we've had to cut our budgets just like everybody right. else's, and cut the number of staff members. Right. But it's not possible to do it every year. We can't. So what we do is we try, the state law requires us to physically inspect them every five years. Of course, when I became property appraiser in 05, some have never been, there was, I'll never forget the industrial park in Pompano Beach wasn't even on the tax roll. Some man called and said, are you ever going to do this? I wasn't even there an hour. And I said, what? And he said, he said, can you look at an arrow? I said, yes, sir. And I looked on the computer and I thought, (laughs) so, you know. (laughs) Private property that right. was not taxed. An entire industrial park in Pompano Beach. Entire, you know, Pompano could have used the money. Sure. Up. But um, we, phys- my policy is we physically inspect them every three years. And now that, and the other thing with residential properties, we never, ever, ever enter somebody's home, and we never enter a fenced backyard with your permission. So, you know. We, we never enter a fence backyard or someone's home. Without permission? No, we never enter oh, a home. Just We're don't, no, oh. Residential appraisers oh, okay. are not allowed by state law to physically enter oh. your home. We And we would enter your backyard to measure if there's no fence. If there's a fence, we will not go in your fence without permission. By the way, if you see us out there, um, individuals drive their own cars, but they have magnetic signs because we never put our name on cars. <laughs> With magnetic signs that say they're from property, they wear these very tacky orange vests with giant property appraiser letters on the back. They have picture IDs and business cards that you know it's us. Which is strange when you see someone with a camera taking a photo of your home um, and you kind of scratch your head. It's happened to us. Well, everybody, uh, in fact, just sent me an email. (laughs) There was a strange person. Um, But so we come out every three years. We put it on our website. There have been homeowners associations that have asked us to notify them in advance. But that's very difficult because our appraisers could create a schedule and it rains today. You know, or a hurricane's coming or, you know, something happens and it would throw them off. So usually what our appraisers do in our office because of budget cutbacks, I give our appraisers a choice or all our staff a choice of working five eights or four tens. So most appraisers choose the four tens. So some work That's Tuesday. four days, ten hours a day. Ten hours a day. So some work Tuesday through Friday, some work Monday through Thursday. So they're out a little earlier and in a little later. But we think that most people wouldn't want to see one of us at 7 in the morning. So sometimes we do our paperwork and then we get out. Okay. We're going to take a break. We're going to take a break and we'll come back with uh, Broward County Property Appraiser Lori Parrish.